Hi, I'm Griffin Saunders here at the Teen Hoot in Nashville with... Devin Werkheiser. Molly McCook. Hello. Yes, they just performed here. Um, where are you guys from? I'm originally from Georgia, but we're both from L.A. Well, both... I grew up in L.A. Right. So. Okay, so right. we have one Southern... Yes, I'm a Southern boy, here. One but I live in L.A. now, yeah. <laughs> but I'd love to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys perform together all the time, or...? A lot. Lately. Yeah, yeah. pretty... Lately, kind of a lot. It mm -hmm. got... I got lucky because I started dating her and it turned out she had a great voice. So then I got to sing with her. It was awesome. There well, you it go. It started out at, you know, some I, I when he had shows, I would sing backup for him. Okay. And yeah. I'd sing harmonies and and then he had some duets and we were like, Wow, we sound really good together <laughs> and we wrote we wrote one that we just sang for the first time yeah. here. So Oh really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you guys write together a lot? That was our first time, first time writing we together. Wrote together. Oh, that's so in awesome. In two years. So hopefully first it'll of keep many, going. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That was the first time we wrote together. That's so cool. I'll yeah. have to hear it. Yeah. yeah. Do you both play instruments? I play guitar and dabble on other things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I play dabble. piano. I dabble. I play piano. I, I do not dabble on anything else. <laughs> Just piano. Um, how do you describe Nell's type of music? I mean, if you got to put a genre on it, I'd say pop rock. Mm -hmm. It's probably what it is. But... There's a lot of different influences. It's hard to put a genre on it because sometimes some of his songs that are usually pop rock, we change a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. sometimes he'll play the chords like it's kind of like reggae a little bit. And, yeah. like, yeah. we'll change it around. We, so sometimes yeah, I, we'll feel, he feels like he wants to change it up because some, mm -hmm. sometimes you get sick of singing the same thing over yeah, and over again. Right. So. Exactly. I get sick of kind of the same pattern. So we change it up and do, like, reggae influences and southern influences yeah. sometimes and... I don't know. And I'm yeah. sure your fans enjoy that, too. They kind of get to hear a little bit of everything. Right. In that's, different versions. Yeah, I like right. showing people, that, you know, different stuff so it's not just the same. Mm -hmm. That's thing. awesome. Yeah. Did either of you grow up in a family with a musical background? I did not. Mm -hmm. My parents like listening to music, <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's sweet. My dad's an amazing right. pianist. Oh, but, cool. um, but, I mean, that's about it, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. So who's y'all's biggest influence? Whew. Musically? Uh, yeah, musically. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> the Beatles. <laughs> I mean... No, you can't go wrong. Yeah. The can't go wrong. There yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the first song you learned? First song I learned on guitar... Well, Ode to Joy in, like, music class, but that didn't count. <laughs> no, right? that no, that's count. Um, no. First song I learned on my own, I believe, was Wonderwall. Oh, I love Oasis, right? Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderwall. Yeah. That's, like... That was, like, my... As soon as I could play chords, that was the song I went to. What about you? Um, well, I, when I was little, I played a lot of piano, so, mm -hmm. yeah, I learned all oh, this. Oh, to joy. Weird, you know, <laughs> Classic, beautiful. So you but, um, but then I stopped playing, and then a couple of years ago, um, I got back into piano. So, actually, the first mm -hmm. song that I really learned to play mm -hmm. and sing was Gravity by Sarah Bareilles, which mm -hmm. I love. Yes, it's a um, song. Because it was hard yeah, for me amazing. to sing mm -hmm. and play at the same time. It was mm -hmm. confused me, but that right. was really the first one that I, I did both. That's at the such same a time. cool story. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite song? Favorite song? Yeah. Like, favorite song of all song time. Of all time? Favorite. That's hard. That is so hard. I couldn't tell you my favorite band of all time. Well, the Beatles. Okay, but um, <laughs> no. <laughs> favorite song. Uh, that's tough. Um. Right now, mm -hmm. here comes the sun. <laughs> right now, okay, because it's, go. like, on my iPod, and yes. it's weird. It's in, like, my workout playlist, which is yeah. bizarre, mm -hmm. but, like, sometimes, like, with if all it my gets you going, music, yeah. it's, like, nice. Yeah, I don't have of all time, but one. this past mm -hmm. year, All My Friends by LCD Sound System mm -hmm. was a big one. That was, like, yeah. 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 All My Friends by LCD Sound System. I'll, I'll say that for my favorite one this That's year. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, well, we have a, just a couple of fun questions Great. that your fans might like to know. Great. Um, if you could go in a time machine and could go back in time, where would you go? Or what would you do? Mm. Mm-hmm. 60s. Uh, I'd Stop. go to Woodstock. Oh, yes. That's what I was hoping somebody yeah. would say that. No, absolutely. Without a doubt. Yeah, for him, without a doubt. And yeah. I would actually say the same thing. I wouldn't have said that before we dated. Right. But, but I have Woodstock he's... on DVD. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a cool event. It yeah. seems Especially for like musicians. the most beautiful time on the planet. And now oh. we go to Coachella mm -hmm. wishing that it was Woodstock. Wishing, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, love Coachella, but... Or Bonnaroo. It, Have you guys been to Bonnaroo? Yes. She I has. want to take her mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm not going it's, this year. It's a good time. I wanted to go this year. I went two years ago, and I've been dying to get back. And now my sister's college graduation is the same weekend. So. Uh, well, you guys will walk out. I love you, first. Vanessa. I'm coming to your graduation. I'm not going to be a bad brother. <laughs> He's not that disappointed. Uh, <laughs> okay, and if you could meet anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Ooh. Ooh. You go first. No. <laughs> anyone in like, the world, dead or alive. Hmm. That's so tough. Here, I can narrow it down. A musician. Okay. A musician, since this is the teen who. Right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... <sighs> wow. I'm gonna say... It's a, it's hard. Yeah, no, Once you really think about super it, it's, hard. it's a tough question. It really is. Because there's a lot of people I'd want to meet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna say Paul McCartney, who is alive, or John yes. Lennon, who is who not. Is Yes. I'm going to say either, either of them. Either is too hard. I saw Paul McCartney at Coachella, and it wow. was... They would have awesome stories to tell, I'm sure. Exactly. Could no doubt. And I just, the, I mean, yeah, the mm -hmm. most incredible writers, yeah. Okay, I could do so much better with this answer, but I'm just going to say this because I've always wanted to meet him, and I would mm -hmm. probably cry if I met him, because when I was, like, a lot younger, it was my dream to sing with him, but Josh Groban. Yeah. Um... He has a beautiful I'm going to say him, because I, if I met him and he asked me to sing with him, I'd probably collapse Molly, and stop. I'll sing with you. No, that sounds not nothing it. like that's him. Not See, it's almost like he's sitting right here next to <laughs> you. <laughs> it's almost. What's almost. Up? Really, really close. close. Anyway. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being Thank here. You. Great. And I know everybody's looking forward to hearing more of you guys sing together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we got one song at the end. It's going to be nice. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you Sweet. so much. Thank you. <laughs>